Hello everyone, this is Duke Caraco here. Just uh, thought I would bring you a little demo of my favorite Twitter app. I've tried several, uh, Tweetcaster Pro, Carbon, uh, Phoenix. The one that I seem to always keep coming back to, however, is Plume. All of these apps that I've mentioned, they're actually very good Twitter apps, but for some reason or another, Plume seems to be my go-to Android Twitter app. And I want to give you guys just a real quick demo of it. And here we go. Uh, this is my timeline with mentions. And uh, if you'll notice here up in the upper right-hand corner, uh, there are 64 tweets that have happened since the last time I had this open. If I click on that button, it will jump me to the top. And uh, by the way, scrolling on this is, is very good. And if you'll notice, it does support pictures and videos in line. And this picture right here looks interesting. If I want to see more of it, I tap on it. And it opens the picture up. I can enlarge it or I can shrink it back down. So it's just a very, very handy uh, way to uh, view the images and videos that are in your stream. Uh, I've also got my mentions set up if I want to see who's, uh, who's mentioning me. And if you'll notice, it's got a stripe look to it. If I was over here in my timeline with mentions and someone mentioned me, it would also include those stripes so that I can better identify it. Uh, and it supports multiple accounts. Here is my Facebook account that I have set up. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, a, a very good way to view Facebook without out having to open it. Understand, I'm not a huge Facebook user, uh, but I do have a Facebook account, and this uh, is a great way to enable me to keep up with everyone. Uh, I've got uh, here. I've got a a local list that someone else created. It's uh, people who are local and and tweet locally and uh, it's a list that i enjoy very much be able to see what's going on around me and right now i've done a search for air asia and uh tragedy that's just happened the, the uh, plane has crashed in the ocean uh in the east and uh this has enabled me to uh, follow all the news that's coming out of that if you'll notice there, there's a lot of uh, white flashes of light that's letting me know that new tweets are coming in so I can scroll up and see the new tweets that have just happened since, uh, since I've come to this column. Uh, really, really quick, it's, uh, it's got the settings in here are solid. Of course, you know, uh, I can also go over and see what's trending right now. Let's uh, see what's trending in the United States. And there's the, uh, there's what's, uh, what's trending. And if I wanted to do a search, like, uh, for example, I love a Goldwing motorcycle. So I'm going to search for Goldwing. And right there it is. If I want to add that column, all I have to do is hit that white plus sign or, you know, refresh. But that just enables me to follow any, whatever's on Twitter. And uh, if you'll notice very, very fast on my Nexus. All right. Going back here to the menu. Of course, you can manage your columns. You can add or take away accounts. You can manage your mutes. Sometimes I mute people, and if you know if you want to unmute them, the settings. Uh, there's all kinds of settings in here. Here's where you can add and remove your Twitter and Facebook accounts. You've got general preferences, how you notify if you want to customize the look and feel. That includes font and theme. Uh, yes, this is a very complete app. It's probably not the prettiest to look at. Uh, I guess for that one, Phoenix would get my vote. 
But for some reason or another, Plume is the app that seems to work the best for me. Okay, man, this is Duke Carico. Just wanted to uh, give you a quick demo of my favorite Twitter app. Thanks, guys.